Okay, this is part one of two. I'm giving you guys some just directions of logical thinking about this. Since this is a new unit, I have been talking about this idea of integrals for a little lo for a little while. Um, and now we're gonna try to just introduce it a little bit while we're away. Um, we're gonna do some work on it and yeah. So I want you guys to copy these in your notes. Um, there's no way of me checking that you've done this, but this is gonna be something that's really important for just you, right? So we have the idea of antiderivatives, which is the opposite, right? We know the word anti just means not, so like not derivative. We're going backwards. So the idea is we are gonna be starting with derivatives, but we're gonna be going backwards to finding original functions. Like we haven't done that. We've only gone forward, now we have a tool to go backwards. So by definition, a function f is an antiderivative of a function f, right? So we like to call this big F and little f. So a function big F is the antiderivative of a function little f if for every x in the domain of little f, it follows that the derivative of big F is little f of x, okay? So I want you to think about that. So that means that the opposite of this derivative, okay? The opposite of this derivative is this original function, okay? So this is just like a little funny to think about. So the derivative of the big function is the little function. So vice versa, we have the derivative of the little function is this big function, okay? And we'll see what that means when I do some algebra in the next video.